Hey guys, welcome back to Sim UK. This is Sail Away, and uh, yeah, they've released something. Something we've all been waiting for a 52 foot cruising catamaran. Oh, <laughs> it's free. Look, zero dollars. The ideal boat for long distance cruises, solid and spacious with minimal draft to reach the most idyllic places. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, where the hell am I? The boat is in irons, pointing against the wind. Try to steer the boat away from the wind. Okay, I've no idea where we spawned. Let's, uh, let's have a look at the map. Looks like we are... Lagos. Don't know what the hell it's doing there. Anyway, some nice new features. Uh, Centralising on your boat. What does this do? Save your voyage. Uh, what does this do? Okay, that's that's new. Lock or unlock the editing waypoints. Cool. But we're here for this, and this looks awesome. Wow. This could quite literally be my new favourite vessel. It's so stable. That's what I really like about cats. I mean, these aren't the kind of cats you see uh, the BAR team racing, but... Cats are cool. If I were going to buy a boat and live on it, it would have to be a cat. It would just have to be a cat. The stylize this boat a tad. First of all, customization pack. What have we got? Nothing at all. Okay. There are no customization packs available. Whoops. Sumu K Cat One. I think so. Home port. Why are you showing me this side of the boat when <laughs> I have requested from the developers that they allow you to look around? Oh, you can actually kind of. Oh, that's interesting then. Alright, cool. So, whilst editing the boat, wow, zoom in and zoom out needs to. Needs to be improved. Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't realise you could do this. I kind of asked for this feature that allows you to look around whilst you're editing stuff. Ah, no, see, as soon as you, as soon as you select something, you, you can't move again. Oh, crikey! Where am I now? Right, so what are we thinking here? A bit of blue? It'd be nice if you could take the boat out of the water as well, I think. It doesn't seem to be changing colour. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Uh, this is still really buggy. Some of these colours do not work at all. Or maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just the lighting that's causing that to happen. I don't know. 
But anyway, yeah, we'll 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 stick with that. We'll go with the we'll go with the blue. What's next? Waterline. Ah, I'm not digging that. Actually looks pretty smart. I like the blue and the yellow trim. The hull above the waterline. Nah. God damn it. Is that of interest? Can I change the colour of this? Oh, I can. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, so that's cool. So you can kind of edit and move the camera around. I think uh, once you click on it, it takes you to the point that it thinks you need to be. But you just you can just click out of it, and then you're free to. Uh, Hold a position. Oh god, no. Definitely white. Thick anti slip. Oh, that's down the outside here. Try that. Cushions. See now that that lower blue is a, is a lot darker. sale I want to do like trims on it is there a pack no no packs I don't want to do I want to do trims you know It's this bit here, look. This is kind of the big bulky stuff like this. See it? Change your colours. Aluminiums. Kind of looking cool, actually. I am, <laughs> I'm seemingly sailing straight towards the uh, shore here. I think we've got enough time to uh, to sort the boat out before I, I run aground. Let's hope. Anyway, let's hope. Uh, what, we, what we got next? Black aluminium. That'll be this stuff. Am I digging the yellow or not? Do you know, I think I might be digging the yellow. Especially if we're going to go for a, a dark blue sail. Let's leave it like that for now. We'll come back to that. Black plastics, that's these things. We'll go back to the dark blue theme. Mm. 
white items. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe darker. Like that. It's looking pretty cool. I'm actually liking this. I'm actually liking this. Uh, winch anti slip. We'll just go back to default on that. Main sheet. Uh, this will be the the lines. Main reef. Outhole Cunningham. Van. The furl. The halyard. Genoa's. Lead car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of a shame you can't can't really do much with the sails. It's really quite limiting in that sense. Let's try this. What's this? What's this? Texture. And then the Genoa in a nice yellow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the camera is a pain in the ass. Flipping view am I in now? I'm quite liking that. For a first time tweaky tweaky setup type scenario. Well, that's looking pretty pretty decent. I'm quite happy with that. I wouldn't mind being able to change the, uh, the colour of the table though. I think that's about the only thing I'm not too impressed with. Anyway, uh, turn away from shore. That's uh, way more than I meant to turn. So what can I tell you about this? Hmm, not a great deal really, other than the fact that it's a catamaran. 52 foot. It looks amazing. Um, and even on this very, very short sail, I'd say it's sailing brilliantly. And someone gave me a good tip the other day. Um, they said, and I've not heard this before, so it's quite intriguing, that your speed your speed comes from your front sail, not your back sail. Now I've not heard that before. That's unique uh, to my earlobes. But um, yeah, it really got me thinking. So what have we got? We got a TWS of 13.5 and we're cruising along at 7.6, 7.7. .7. And I haven't really trimmed or anything. Uh, conditions are acceptable and wow you know this looks fantastic and I've got to say that for for long distance sailing this would be without a shadow of a doubt my first and probably probably my only choice of uh, of ship just superb absolutely superb for that guys look at that Now, I posed a question the other day, some of you may have seen it already. I just asked whether or not we want or need a uh, an economy and survival system in this game. Personally, I think we do. I don't know what the devs are thinking about in terms of that. I don't know whether they're... Certainly, they've got other things on their plate at the moment. I'm not in any rush to see this kind of stuff appear. 
but having a fantastic ship like this, I rather, th I rather feel you'd appreciate it more if you had to look after it, repair it, and maybe even, you know, buy it um, and not just receive it for free. I think it would be more fun and more realistic to have to learn and work your way up through the smaller boats and get something um, as luxurious and uh, wonderful as this. I mean, this is like 230, 300,000 pounds worth of shit right here. What an achievement it would be if you could uh, work. I mean, you could work on other. This game is so good where you can join other people's boats. You could. Um, you could start doing chartered trips for whoever, maybe some fishing people on a smaller boat, but you could go and work for other people, running their charters for them. I know this is kind of off topic of, of what the game is all about, and it's, it's so good as it is, I mean look at this, this is so nicely done, and don't think I don't appreciate this because I do, I think it, it's absolutely stunning and absolutely fantastic. And something that's been missing from the simulation genre for an awfully long time. But I just really like the idea of having a reason for, for doing things. I guess that's me all over. Uh, I'm not one of these people, let's just go for a walk. Okay, where? Let's just go walk around. Uh, no. You know, I have to be doing something, going somewhere. Have a reason for being. I'm a very busy man. I don't have time just to walk in a circle. It seems a total waste of energy. Total waste of time. And I'd love to see something... You know, just... And also the survival element, you know? It would be great, it would be fantastic if at some point we could walk around the ship. I love that. A lot of people have asked for that. And it's kind of an extension of that. We'd also like to get tired and have to eat. Maybe prep food. <laughs> I don't know. That's going too far, probably. But, um, I mean, they've got this so good. When you ask people about sailing, what does, what does sailing mean to you? They talk about moments like this, out in the open ocean, nobody around, you against the elements, it's the thrill, it's the excitement, it's the challenge. But if you never get hungry, you never get tired, nothing ever breaks, then there is no challenge. Not really. And I think it's that that I'm, I'm hoping is going to come in this game. I love it for what it is, I love it, it's so good already and I've heard from quite a few of you um, that you picked this game up based on the back of uh, a video that I made and for that I am honoured, grateful, I'm not entirely sure what the appropriate response to that is if I'm being totally honest. I guess uh, from, a, from a business perspective that is kind of my job is to highlight good games, great games like this, and share videos with you about them. Um, and if you've bought a game because of a video I've made, then I'm doing my job, and that makes me feel good. So I thank you for uh, taking the time to comment and tell me these things. It, it's it's good. It means you know I am contributing. I'm I'm helping I'm helping you guys find quality games and presumably I'm helping the developers make a bit of money which I think they deserve off the back of such a fantastic game as this. Am I ever satisfied? I guess is the question. You know, is enough ever enough? But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just come back to that same point. I love the sailing element. I mean, this is fantastic. I crack open a beer right now, just sit here listening to this beautiful ocean, watching these fantastic waves, staring at the stars. Outstanding. 
outstanding. But in the middle of all that, if my main mast suddenly broke, came slamming down and caused me an injury maybe, I have to start thinking on my feet. I'm not that far from shore, but you know, we'd be in a predicament right there and I have to deal with it. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe you don't want that. I certainly wouldn't want that all the time. That would be a epic pain in the backside. But things go wrong on boats. If you've ever watched, and I've watched hundreds, hundreds of videos of people sailing across the ocean from point A to point B because they're going, they're doing it for the challenge. It's something they've always wanted to do. They're doing it because they, they want to go to an event that's, you know, at their, at their, uh, at their end point, at the point of sailing. There's many reasons why people go, but one th one thing that almost always happens is something goes wrong. Your lines get tangled. Uh, your lines break. Some of the some of the rigging breaks. So many things happen. You lose an engine. Uh, the sail rips. So many things. So many things can happen, and so many things do happen. And it's part of sailing. It really is. And to have a sailing simulator that doesn't acknowledge the, that aspect of it, I think is almost, almost doing the game an injustice. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you think I'm crazy. Maybe you disagree with everything I'm saying. Maybe you think, maybe you think I'm doing the game a disjustice, a disjustice by saying this. But I just, I just feel that that would Im immerse, immerse you as a player considerably. And I don't know, maybe they are the plans of the future. Um, I mean, when you look here into the, into the hole, I mean, that is very temporary, if you ask me. Same as the LCD screen up here. That's temporary. Clearly, something's going to happen here. And it opens up great opportunities, great potential, great levels of immersion. This is sensational. It's, it really is. That I'm talking about the cat now. This cat is wonderful. I actually feel like I'm sat on this couch, chilling out, sailing along, chatting to you guys. Spectacular. And I'm already, my mind's already going 10 to the dozen. What am I going to do with this cat? I think I'm going to have to take on one of the challenges. One of the bigger challenges, because I've done all the small ones, like the, uh, the, the 10 minute, the 20 minute, the one hour, the three hours. There's a couple of big ones there now and to be honest with you I didn't really relish doing it in any of the other boats but now this cat's here <laughs> now this cat's here now I want to go now I want to do these big sails so uh, I mean there is that there is that there is still that that bit has not been lost on me and uh, yeah, probably in the next video, that's what I'm going to be doing. But uh, this is just a first look at the cat. 52 foot. Really nicely done. See, we've got some uh, solar panels on here. Again, all these are little indications that there's more to come. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was more to come. This is so nicely done. Look at the finish on here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'll, I actually quite like my styling. Let me know in the comment section, guys, if you like my uh, my styling here. I think it's pretty groovy. I'm actually quite impressed with that. It's, it's the best one I've done. Took a bit of time on it. So, I mean, this is going to be done, isn't it? 
this normally has your speed read out maybe your GPS goes in here rather than up here that would be nice to have this information sort of tucked away nicely on here stunning listen guys I haven't been on this game for a few weeks and um, since day one I've been hoping the cats would arrive and, and my god the first cat at least is here and looking spectacular absolutely stunning I think it's tremendous I can't wait to do a proper sale on it but today's video was all about just checking out the cat sharing some thoughts one last thing I wanted to mention guys and I'm not sure what the reason for this is but it would appear that Sail Away is moving over to be completely steam oriented which basically means that the Sail Away website is as far as I understand it no more they're not going to be actively updating it or sharing new comments or thoughts or or anything like that so if you want updates on what's happening on sail away you're gonna have to go to steam now it seems which for me is fine because I always did it that way anyway but for some of you out there you might be thinking god when are these cats gonna arrive and you'll be quite shocked to see me sat here drinking my pina colada chilling out late at night in the middle of I don't really know where I've forgotten where I am but to be honest with you I don't care this is mesmerizingly good I love this this is so good so so good so anyway guys that's it from me I hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you did because uh, uh, it makes me feel good it makes me feel good and until next time take good care of yourselves goodbye for now